Hi, Carrie. Hey, Jenna. A little soul speak tonight you know one of the purposes of soulology is to bring out to the open all the things we are sharing in this apocalypse everything's more intense even if we don't know what's happening to us all the time we sure can feel it but there's a lot of things that we could share you know things that we're afraid to share or even embarrassed to discuss Yet this is the universal paradox. It's how the universe teaches. Soul sense found behind fears. Our highest leaps of light just past the frail walls of a harmless darkness. Possibilities, probabilities, realities. More frequencies and vibrations if we're brave enough to use them. And they all lead to the same place. It's called the soul highway. Pyramids, pineal gland, ET lineage, memories of abductions, angel visits, ascended masters. And who are these powers behind the governments that have begun to fall? Doesn't really matter. What's important is me and you. Perhaps the best thing we could share are the personal challenges, the emotional eruptions, mental and physical shifts come with and to a seeking mind in the golden age we live in. You see, our victories are far more than we know. When we cross the heart to a higher ground, by yielding to the possible impossibilities. And what we find in this shared space contained within ourselves, linked somehow by the same healing power. It's called the Gnosis of Soul. We have given the world our differences. And the story has never changed. It's time to shine. Ascension is about honoring our sacred space. And when we do, all merges into one. And no longer do we have to point to what's different. No longer do we have to label each other with lies. To make ourselves look good. To make ourselves look better in the egoic mind. It's time to shine, beginning with our innermost circles of life. From the innermost circle of what is life, the I am soul. So let your soul shine. Live your truth, your truth. Not what the world tells you is the truth. The soul leads and the ego can only follow.
How's it going, everybody? Guy or tree, are you in the house? Are you in the Zoom room? Hey, Louis Machi, Mary Lou. Gaia Tree, are you in the Zoom room? Are you Cosmic Weaver? I think it's her. Gaia Tree, are you Cosmic Weaver? Or Cosmic Weaver, are you not Gaia Tree? Somebody, like, oh yeah, okay, there you go. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get it started. Wait. What's up? Hi, hi again. How you doing? How you been? I'm good. I'm good, I'm good okay. managing. Somehow. We got a lot. We got a lot of friends joining us. It's a late night for us. It's a late night, but I realize uh, we're picking up uh, Europe in the morning and Australia and New Zealand, of course, in the U.S. It's midnight in New York, but there's a lot of late night light light workers out there. I know that. So what's been going on? Looks like it's morning over there. It's morning, nine thirty a.m. Oh yeah, what's going on in the world of the dragons? Oh dear, where do I begin? Lots yeah. going on. I have Lots these... going on yeah. with the dragons and the galactics um, since the last time yeah. we, we caught up here. Where do I've I got, begin? I've got these two videos and I've got three drawings. Okay, I just want to make sure that we're on the same page there. All right? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, you know what? I know where I want to start. Uh, you wrote me a note and you said, well, you sent me you sent me a video or two videos on August 15th, and I think you published them. And uh, you said it was taken last night at 1 a.m. while driving back home. And that, I believe, was your son, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then you wrote me a note today. Where is it? And you said, oh, I lost it. At, at, uh, so the picture that we showed either at the end of the show or after the show, you drew a picture of uh, a dimensional experience you had or, or whatever you want to call it with the galactics. And I think I read somewhere today and I can't find it now that that the video that he took <clears throat> of the ships was a ship that you were on where you had that experience. Is that right? Well, I was not on it, but it was exactly what I had seen. Okay, I see. Um, I, see. I know I'm part of it, but okay. I was here, and that's when I had the experience. Oh, I see. It says right here. So the video was taken by my son on the 16th of August. The dream state experience I shared, being you, was on the 16th of July, the exact same shift. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. So what? So what was what was that experience? Do you remember what was exchanged between you and the Galactic Brothers? Yeah, yeah. Um, soon, um, I talked about it in our last uh, show. Yeah, I remember. And yeah. I had not made the sketch then. It was just a rough uh, sketch that I had made, which I sent to you later after the show. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, that was when I was given the indication that the Galactics are here. Um, till then, it was only the dragons coming in, and then it was this lucid experience which I had. Where I see myself on a highway, and um, oops. This is it, right? Yeah. So I see myself on a highway. Now this is all in dream state, but my dreams are not, you know, just dreams. So. Um, I'm looking up in the sky and it was full of clouds and this ship comes out from the clouds and it was blinking and I'm looking at it and these three silver orbs fly out from the ship and they go right through me. Wow. And I woke up because it was, I was just 
so full of energy it was just it just well it didn't shake me up it was just too much energy to take so i woke up with a start and i knew that the galactics um, are connecting again and that i've i've got to shift now and change from just doing what i was doing and um start the work that needs to be done because i've known for a very long time that i am part of a a mission right of which i've made sketches too uh and that is um this ship that is orbiting our planet and part of that work is mine as well i've been on that a couple of times yeah but in quarantine because human beings are not allowed to go beyond the point and um so yeah they 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 are very much watching us and it's like a huge computer which they look through down on our planet and and things have to be done hmm and do, do you think we should play this video you want to try to play the video do you think that there's any uh can you play the video? Yeah, I can play it. So this was in July, on the 16th of July. And then I was like, okay, I've got to, you know. Let's see. And then 16th August, my son calls me at night, 1 a.m. and says on a WhatsApp call video and said, take a look at this. And this was what I had seen. Yeah, right here. I, I can't you get it. I can't. Yeah, it's the not. other, the other video is yeah. more prominent. Okay. I okay, think. let's see. Hang on. Let me get to the other video. I can't really. Uh, I can't enlarge it. I can see something right here. Let me turn this on. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. You see it? Look at that. See all that? Let me, yeah. back up. Let me back it up a little bit. Hang on. Here we go. Watch out. Here it comes. So these boys were out at night. Yeah, see one, two, three. You can see the lights there. Go ahead. And they were, I think, driving back home, or or I don't know what they were doing out, but they saw this and filmed it. And yeah. last year, this exact I have not sent you that photo, but this exact ship was seen uh, near a hotel and my son was there again. So for some reason, it seems to be around wherever he is or wherever one of his friends is. I don't know the connection. It's probably his, it's probably his mother keeping an eye on him. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> true. <laughs> that's so, true. The other one has, has, has a clearer image of, of the lights blinking. Sorry. Yeah. Let me see. Hang on. This one here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah, this one would have. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Well, it's. Here we go. It's oh, okay. Or the other Nietzsche. Okay. Yeah. Pele. Okay, yeah, it's a name. Wait, sorry. So, Pele, yes. See, Esse, Tha. Abhi, Esse, okay. See that? Chala, to chala, yeah. No, but now it's straight. It was like it was horizontal first, but now it's vertical. Okay. 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 Here it is now, right above us. Let's see it from the sunroof. See that blue light? Yeah, yeah. And the now green? You see that? Yeah, yeah. Yes, and this is exactly what I had seen uh, in my dream state. I did something really. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Very cool. So this is what you saw in your dream state. 
and you say that you go up there, I can't enlarge it, I'm sorry. Oh, hit any four O's next to the mic. Maybe we can go back to that. Thank you, Angel. I'll try that. Okay. So, so what, what, so what was the exchange of information when you had the, the, uh, the dream state experience and, and, and prior to that or since then, what is your recollection or understanding of what happens when you go on the ship? You said, mentioned something about when you go on the ship, you're on quarantine, in quarantine? Yeah, we, uh, we, we are not allowed to go beyond the point because um, of be being human. There's, there's uh, restrictions. We carry uh, a lot of things that could contaminate the ship as well mm. as the, the people there. So when, you, so when you go on the ship, you, you are, I'm, I, I, I don't know, are, are you retaining your physicality or is it just the energetics of your essence that is no, contaminated? I go, okay. I go as I am. Uh -huh. And they too are, are not alien looking. They're, they're like human beings, but absolutely gorgeous, absolutely good looking. Mm -hmm. and, and I've sometimes lost my focus because I'm, I've never seen such good looking people ever in my life. Control yourself. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. Uh, well, there's a lot of us who are here uh, and we have connections to uh, a lot of programs um, and, and stuff that needs to be done. We have uh, connections with, with the extraterrestrials and we have been sent here to do our work on the planet. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of important missions going on as we speak um, because uh, everything is crumbling, everything is disintegrating and they are making sure we we stay focused and we stay um, manage to hold our energies so that we can keep the grids. Yeah. So, yeah. And let me ask you what your understanding is, if you have any, in regard to, okay, so if you go onto the ship and you retain your physicality, uh, which, which is evidenced by the fact that you can only go to a certain point in the ship or you're quarantined because you can potentially contaminate the ship because you're in your physical body. So, I, you know, where I kind of not struggle or where I, I guess where I'm curious about this stuff is that I know we have interdimensional experiences. Uh, certainly we have them in dream state, there's no doubt. Um, so there, you know, many of us have had mergings and, um, you know, interactions and, and it seems to be more etheric. Although, you know, I and other people, Morgan and I have had some situations where there's been the apparitions have ever actually appeared in our bedroom. Um, but I guess what I'm saying is, is that it, to me, there's somewhere the physical fades away and it's more of an etherical or higher dimensional, less physical or maybe non-physical situation. When you're on the ship, they are physical. The ship is physical. Is that right? Yes, yes. They they are exactly the way they are. I've never had an experience in real time except for this this one incident with the video. Other than that, I've never really seen them in in real time. It's always been during time travel, during dream state, mm -hmm. and um, it's like a switch. You know, when I sleep, it's like switched on to a different timeline and to a different density. And there's work to be done there. And then when I wake up, it's like switched again here. Um, so, and when you're on when you're when you're on the ship, are you aware of your physicality? As you're okay, so you are aware of your physicality. You're aware of their physicality because you can't keep your eyes off of them. <laughs> I have conversations with them. Yeah. I mean, I've asked them why is it that I cannot go, and that's when they said that you know beyond this point we cannot allow you. Okay. Um, I've, I've looked around and asked questions and they've, they've shown me these huge computers um, with which they look through and there's huge computers which have like full downloaded programs of what's going on and what, what's going to be done next. Right. Um, but you know what, when I'm there and I, I receive the information, when I wake up, I don't remember it. Yeah. Yeah, that seems, to be, asked, that seems to be very common. I've asked them, why is it that I forget? Why is it that I receive the information? And then when I'm, I wake up, I don't recall any of it is, um, they said, I don't need to, because when I need to know what 
what needs to be done or whatever instructions need to be given to me it will be done when i need it when yeah. the time is right so there's yeah. no need for us to keep all that extra information because it would get very difficult to to sort of and and go about our work here yeah that would make so that would all make that sense. information yeah. is there there's a there's a lag i'm sorry it would be very chaotic it is yeah yeah it, that would make it sense it is very confusing yeah. yeah it it would be it would create a lot of chaos because like manage things in this reality when i don't see any of that yeah that's a different different world altogether well so it's taken me a few years to to sort of balance this yeah so can you hear me can you hear me yeah yeah i can hear you there's just a little bit of lag and i, I hear you i don't want to uh, um interrupt you if i do it's not on purpose uh now okay that was a really good point so yeah because i think it's you know i was telling morgan today we were taking a walk and i said we've reached a point where we're beyond 51 percent i don't know why i said it i'm not saying i'm right but it where we we've, we've gone beyond 51 percent of our memory of our full memory you know galactic or whatever all all aspects or whatever but something something that you just said kind of made me think of that and it would make sense that if we knew everything if we knew everything and, and didn't forget after these dream state visitations and interactions, they would kind of like, it'd be kind of like uh, knowing how the movie ends or having all the, uh, you know, having all the answers on a test or something like that. Uh, it seems like it would just take the emphasis off of the real time experience that we're having if we knew everything that was, that was going to happen. Yeah. In fact, I think quite a few yeah, people. Yeah, plus the mind. Yeah. It's a little bit of a like uh, I was going to say, and I, and I, Mine yeah, would... go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, there's a um, lot. The mind would interfere, you know, and, and cause even more confusion because it's, yeah. it's not possible for us to retain all of that and come here yeah. and deal with the, with the stuff that's happening here. That it's not split. It's just two parallel lifetime being on at the same time and you have to know how to switch from one to the other yeah it takes time it's uh, it takes a lot of years to finally start doing it without any any doubts in it. fear fear comes up a lot yeah so do you have initially it, not you, now so do you have any uh, uh idea of what your mission is here or the mission of others or anything that you might have that you, anything you might uh, retain in, in your memory uh, yeah i know of a few people like me who have placed on different different uh, grid lines uh, i know i had clear instructions to to live here in the city to make my home and to here, I was shown that everything that I work through me, all the information, all the energy work that I do through me needs to be grounded into the grids in this. And that's what everyone is doing. We, mm -hmm. we all carry codes. Anything that is information that is coming to us goes through us and is encoded into the, into right. the grids and into the ley lines, into the crystalline grid. Because it's all happening together. I mean, if, if we say we need them, they need us at the yes. same time to hold yes. the frequency, hold the balance, to maintain the balance. And it can be very overwhelming because um, when we are doing such um, high frequency work, there's a lot of uh, interference, which happened yeah. to me soon after I had this incident. Soon after I had this incident, starting uh, August, um, I've not been able to do anything. No painting, nothing is coming through except for the one dragon that came through uh, just before the Lionsgate portal. Mm -hmm. 
the one that I sent you, the pink one with yeah, we'll get codes. Yeah, we'll bring that up so here in a little I, bit. That this portal is opening up and the codes are coming through. Yes. And soon after that, I had a huge um, trigger, if I may say, and uh, <laughs> an attack because but, my my that's... my kitchen was invaded by termites. Oh my god! Yeah. So. And uh... it, it was not just a small it was huge it was all over my kitchen mm -hmm. um there is a huge window in my in my kitchen um they ate up the entire frame i had to it was complete chaos i was this close to a meltdown twice but i somehow so, you know managed uh, to I, I i wonder if uh the reason they won't let the human in its physicality into certain parts of the spaceship is because we might carry the trigger virus. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm kidding. I'm joking. I want. I want to. Carry the terms. We 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 have we have a lag, so I'm going to ask you like three questions and then let you because 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 my voice is coming across ten or fifteen seconds later. So number one. Uh, Many people have made reference, or I'm going to say enough people have made a reference to, I'm here, but I'm also on the ship. Now, when I think of that, I think, okay, well, I might be on a ship, but it's another aspect of me. Um, you could even call it a future life if you wanted to, right? Um, this seems to be a little bit different. You know, this is this is where you know, uh, you're actually physically on the ship, okay, which means you're the Gaia tree that we're talking to, which is evidenced by the fact that they won't let you get past this quarantine point because of your physicality and your humanness and the potential for contamination. So one, number one, what is your, what are your thoughts on, is there a Todd on a ship up there or a Gaia tree on a ship up there in a different aspect? And two, I have a second question. What's the relation between the dragons and the ET brothers and sisters in the spaceship? And then the third question I have is about dragons, but why don't we just do those two? So what's your opinion or your, your uh, perspective on, uh, is, you know, are we on the ships in other aspects uh, since you've been on the ships in physicality? And two, what is, if any, the relation between the dragons and the ET family that you've interacted with? Mm -hmm. uh, different aspect yes that's one way of looking at it I see it as an energy signature that we leave behind uh, when we are there so our energy in signature form is there it's like an imprint mm -hmm. and when we when we are there we just walk into that imprint and embody that it's like no it's I got like it Star Trek when go and just get into your energy signature and you're back in your body there. Yeah. Um, but when we are here, we are here in full human form. Yeah. When we are there, we need to, it's like a passcode. You need to uh, press onto your passcode by going into that signature. And then yeah. you sort of just, um, it's like transmigrating and then you just come into form. Yeah. It, that, it, it, it that's the understanding. Yeah, it reminds me of, you know, people, I, know, I remember back in my early days in Awakening six, seven, eight years ago, there was a lot of paranormal activity, and I inter interacted with uh, quite a few mediums and that type of thing, but they talked about that some, uh, some ghost sightings and occurrences, especially those that happen in the same place over and over, like say a spooky hotel or a place like that, um, that they were, they called it a residual, a residual energy that never left. So it, it, it kind of sounds like that, but at a much higher level, much more expanded level. So that's it. That's interesting. What's the relation between the dragons and the ET family, the brothers and sisters up there? Oh yeah. Yeah. There, there is, um, they have woken up specially and waking up a lot of human beings, um, 
past few years is because when this when when it gets really intense and and we can see what's happening now when when the old construct is is being de is is deconstructing and crumbling there's going to be a lot of fear that will be projected onto us and that's where the dragons come in that's what they explained to me because when i was thrown off with this termite drama happening in my house and i i had no choice but to leave everything and focus on that they said i i was like I, I don't get this. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to deal with this? Because there was obstacle after obstacle to even get it repaired. It's we've had more than our share of rains. It has been raining nonstop. The people couldn't come to fix it. I had to put in the pesticide myself. I was inhaling all that poison. I could barely function. And I said, what's going on? How do I do this? And they said, you know what? it's deliberately projected onto you so that your focus can be shifted from tuning into the higher frequency from maintaining the vibration okay and at the same time um all these days and it's been happening since a long time is that i can feel the waves coming in and while i'm sleeping and it's so it's like a insulin boost it's like gives me that insulin surge where it keeps me going at the oh, same oh. it's happening all at the same time there's fear being projected fear was projected through my dream state as well mm -hmm. where i dreamt that my son died after a few days i dreamt that my sister died and i said this is a lot of interference this is not true what do i do and they said all all you've got to do is don't let this you know take you away from what you've done and just hold the energy hang in there and just keep going stay focused on the new uh, waves that are coming in constantly tune in and just maintain your balance no matter what is happening here you've got to hold stronger than ever before now now are these are, are these depictions of the brothers and sisters that you've interacted with yes and what is this one it says 1998 and then below it it says 2018 so that would be 20 years is there a significance to that well 1998 is when i had this first experience okay okay i i i made a rough sketch of it then and in in later in i i completed the sketch so that's why I have the dates. I got you. And now this this one here, it shows, yeah, this shows the ship up here. And then it shows the, the humanoids. You said they were very human. Um, what is the, the emblem or whatever that is, a device or crystal in the, in the throat area? What is that? Do you know? Uh, that's, that's like the communication center. Mm. when there is a connection um, between our communication centers and the brain so um, what I got what I understood of it then maybe I'm not sure if I got it all right or maybe there's more to it but they um, they somehow um, when when they <laughs> This, they, they sometimes convey messages through our voice boxes. They speak directly okay. to us. And so they, need, they have this like a special, um, special kind of a, a energy placed in our voice boxes for all the people that they speak through. Okay, so that's really interesting. Hang on, let's go back to that. Because I want to go back to the dragons. Uh, but... So what you're saying is, I mean, you, I'm sure it's happened to you. I've witnessed it with people. I've certainly witnessed it many times with Morgan, uh, where there is what, for lack of a better word, we might call a channeling of a higher aspect of a uh, multi, multiple dimensional aspect, um, a deity, whatever the case is. 
so what you're saying is is that when they connect and i'm not saying that they're all of these connections but i'm just saying when they connect that they activate something in the human uh, voice box the that of uh, that voice base modulation because the frequency because of the frequency you see um it, it's very different from ours so they need to you know for the modulation they need to sort of fine tune mm -hmm. before they can before it flows through so so essentially what you're saying is their voice uh, uh, certainly their communication comes into our awareness you know that that at least potentially i guess but but what you're saying in yeah, this no. yeah in this instance they can actually uh, actually speak to us through our own voice yes haven't you noticed that there are times uh, it happens to me often during my sessions that when a guide comes through or when uh, it's like channeling a higher aspect of whoever wherever um, my voice changes mm -hmm. and i know it's not me yeah um, the tone changes the, the the frequency changes in fact it when it starts it even drops down the temperature of the body sometimes yeah. sometimes the temperature goes high and the voice changes so sometimes it's like depends on who's coming through the voice is very soft and i know it's not i don't i'm not a very soft soft spoken person in that sense so there have been times when when i've said things and i know it's not me i've i've said it and then i've realized i've said something which i i had no no idea right, i was right. going to say well wow, this is amazing so let me ask you this we uh, morgan and i have talked about uh, individual and joint dragon um interactions to include dragon mergings dragon dragon definitely uh dragon mergings uh we had an incident where the dragon a dragon came in merged with her for a, a very long time a couple hours and then they merged with me um there was i saw the dragon with my physical eyes um at one point i also saw her hand was a dragon claw uh, so my question is, do you know why, uh, and then very recently, uh, just in the last week or so, the presence of a very masculine dragon came in and, uh, basically I understood it, uh, very quickly that it was actually me is, is what I got. And I may be wrong about that, but it, but it was actually me and it told me that it was kind of like time to do something. And, and I cleared, well, I had my biggest my biggest elevation, my biggest clearing since. But my, my question is, why do you know why the dragons are merging with, with us? And I mean, any of us, not just Morgan and I. Do you know why they're merging with us? Uh, and then I guess my second question would be, uh, can you uh, expand at all on the, the part where the dragon is the human and the human is the dragon, if that's even applicable? yes yes we we have a very limited perception of things and we we see everything in separation right so if you have to do something and you know that it's it's you it's part of you that's when human beings do it better that's what they explained to me or or else they are seeing it as something outside because that force is not something outside of you. It is you. Okay. But sure. for the human being to comprehend all of that and to, you know, actually accept it. Yeah. It takes a long time and there is no time now. Yeah. We don't have much time. We've got to now just accept it, take it as, as it's coming and, and allow any other uh, beings that, that work through us need to merge with us as well. So, so it's like so, multi-dimensional um, soul soul shards, soul fragments, yeah. the same as us. It needs to be one. We need to be, we yeah. are complete. We have everything in us and yeah. it's, it's not outside. Yeah. And so, and so the, 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 okay, let me, let me put that second question, combine it with what you just told us. And let me just tell everybody, if you're getting knocked off Facebook, 
live, which has been happening again uh, on these shows, the link for the Zoom room is at, uh, pinned to the comments. So you can just go there and, and come on into the Zoom room. Um, okay, so on one hand, you're saying that the dragon is, or at least in, in certain cases, and you can just correct me and expand on this when I'm done, but in some cases, the, the, let's just say the dragon, the dragon is me or was me, and because and, and, that's what, it, what I was, what, what I knew. That's what I, I just knew that. And then later on, it kind of explained it to me. So you're saying in cases like that, this is actually us, uh, that, it, that it, and because of where we're at with our, say, our psyche's capacity, we have to see it at least initially as external. And then the merging occurs, which is our acceptance of our of, of that, say that dragon, which is actually ourselves, right? So it's actually us, and that's the way it has to happen because of our limitation and the fact that they, we didn't want, that's the way we can understand it, right? So my, the second part of that is you said that these fractalized aspects, um, they're all you know coming in and becoming one. It sounds like some of these may not be us, but I know everything is one in the end. But I mean, is there is there two different scenarios? I guess where you have maybe say a family or a team members who come in to merge with you, and then another situation where you have an actual aspect of you and energy like a dragon come in and merge with you. Are those two different situations? No, everything that you're a vibrational match to can merge with you. Okay. If you were not a match, it would not be in your reality. Okay. So why the merging is important also is it activates the DNA and act in turn activates our memory. So one, we, we don't question when we know it's when we just know that there are things you just know irrespective yeah. of who agrees with it, disagrees yeah. with it. You need no validation. When you know something, you know something. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And that's the point. When when the merging happens, you know. Yeah. And so there is, you cannot separate it from you any longer. Right. You don't see it as an outside force. You don't see it as something that you need to call on or ask for help. Yeah. Because it's you. It's in you. You just need to invoke it from within you. Yeah. And you've got to do what you have to do with it. Yeah, that's that's what happened to me. Uh, exactly what happened to me. So before I, I because I had some dragon experiences in Hawaii, especially when I had some with Morgan, but I had some when she had to go back uh, for a couple of months and I had a bunch of them. Right. And then um, but it was a very it, it was like, OK, here, this is my dragon. It was a white dragon with rainbow translucent colors running through it. And it came several times. There were some other dragons, but they all seemed to be external. Uh, but when this happened to me in the last week, after it happened, and I and I was just going about my business. I think I was going for a walk one time, and and I said to my, I actually said to myself, uh, I'm going to call on my dragon energy, you know, instead of like reaching out for the dragon. Like, where are you, dragon? I actually said to myself. Uh, when I was walking, I said, because uh, I was like contemplating something going on in, in my daily day life. And, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm calling forth my dragon energy, which was one of like calmness, power, uh, courage, and love, and, and so on. So it, it sounds like that's what you're saying occurs once you know it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's you. The, the courage is you, love is you, compassion is you, all everything that you experience is within you so there's no. nothing outside no you just no have to accept it it's difficult for human beings to accept these things yeah how would you how would you differentiate if at all if you take the dragons this for instance take dragons over here and et sisters and brothers on those on those uh, starships like you visited over here both of them being universal energetic imprints. Uh, one seems to have more physicality, those being on the spaceship, the dragon being more of say of an etherical essence. Is there a difference between the two? Uh, is the, are the ET brothers and sisters on the ships more physical 
uh, are these both just at the end of the day, energetic imprints of you or of me? Oh, good question. I, I think I, how I can explain it is from my personal understanding of it is that maybe I've not gone too deep or not reach that point where I can physically interact with the dragons. Uh, because I know I've had physical experiences with the galactics. Okay. So maybe I, I need to, there's something in me which needs to still yeah. reach that. But they're, they're both in, in the same place. Well, you know, they show me right now. Yeah. They're, they're, oh, they're they all are. there. It's they're just are. different densities okay. and dimensions. Sometimes we can uh, reach a certain degree and, and sometimes we, yeah. but there's obviously something in me which is not able to fully see them in, or reach that, that, that yeah. state. In the physical. But yeah, sometimes yeah. they say that they, they don't let anyone, um, because of the way things had gone earlier, they somehow prefer to stay, um, you know, beyond. They have a veil, and they they do not want to be seen yeah. as we experience the other things. Well, they as prefer I, to work behind the scenes, and yeah. they're very much there. Yeah. Well, as, as you were saying that, then I started thinking about the fact that I have seen them, the dragons in the physical. In the physical, uh, one. I think I'm married to one. Uh, because I actually wow. saw her, well, I actually saw her, but I've seen her morph into things before, particularly different incarnations, but I actually saw her, her as a silhouette of a dragon, and I actually saw, uh, a dra you know, when her hand went on my chest, it was a, it was a dragon claw, and it left a dragon mark, <laughs> so there's, you know. But that's, that's the way you need to experience it. Mm -hmm. So you have that experience. Yeah. Um, everyone's will be different. Uh, many people would say there's there's no such thing as the galactics. There's no such thing as ET beings on ships and us seeing them in the way we do. It's true. Now yeah. I, I need no validation from anyone, yeah. and I I know what I know, and that's for me. So the same with you for the dragons. I can say that uh, I have not seen them physically, but mm -hmm. if you have, then that's. That's your reality, and that's the way you need to experience. Yeah. So I think it's obviously like, have more something different. Well, you're me. you're you might be one. <laughs> you know, that might be why. I mean, you obviously have a very strong connection to the to the dragon energy. Uh, they've been speaking to you since what last October, uh, and yeah, yeah. you know, <clears throat> let's change it up a little bit. Let's go. Let's go to the. Um, the uh, pictures that you sent and the explanation, particularly the one that came, you said you haven't had any, you had an interference or disruption. And uh, this one here is, I'm, I'll blow it up in a second, but it says serious, vo now this would have been the one, you said you didn't have any dragon connections until right before the lion's gate. It says serious vortex opens, bringing through light codes, activating ley lines, Dragon lines amplifying, activating the crystalline grid across the planet, diamond light code DNA activation, sacred geometry, invitations, gate portal, 8-8-2019, state your intention, connect, receive, and anchor. Can you uh, explain what you just wrote there and what happened in terms of what the dragons told you assisting us on 8-8? Yeah, this was... Um the dragon curled around this code, uh, around this portal actually, um, during the lion's gate um, activation. So they clearly said, well, I didn't know there was going to be an attack. You see, till then, till, till this time, I was happily painting my dragons and everything was fine. And after this came through, um, they said that, you need to focus into this um, portal, focus into the energies that are coming now and make your intention clear in the sense that in whatever you intend is what the code will activate in you. And then you anchor all the codes and anchor the energies. 
Mm. And whatever way you do it. So I do it through meditation. And once this was done, I got attacked. Wow. And what do you think that, what do you, what do you think that was? Uh, it I mean, was deliberately to, to keep me away from focusing on moving ahead on. So on, on bring, in keeping the frequency. So, so whether it be that situation you had with the termites or any other situation any of us have had or will have or whatever. Um, just as- But the, there's so many people who had issues with, with, with it is unknown, you know, this is happening, people are just, it's coming to everyone in a different way only yeah, yeah. so that you get distracted from where you are. Yeah. And not, uh, into the new frequency that that has been coming in yeah which is most important to do well what i was what i was that, that's i think you're you're on the same track as i am what i was going to say is when something okay just as we are as our frequency aligns let's say let's say let's say it's you or me it doesn't matter let's say that our frequency aligns to a, our frequencies at a certain point and i'm sure there's multiple frequencies you know, because there's multiple streams or multiple aspects out there. So, so on one hand, it'll, it is at the same frequency to be able to go into dream state and go on a ship in physicality. On, on, a, on another occurrence, it might be uh, that the dragon comes in and merges uh, in more of an etherical way through the chakras like Morgan's describing here. And then it's the third scenario might be that we have what seems to be some type of interference or uh, uh, I don't wanna say dark energy, but just some type of chaotic energy. Would you, would you say, or, or what, what's your perception or your perspective, I'm sorry, on that type of scenario with the termites? Are we, is it us again and bringing in another type of energy so that we'll see something or, or it'll move us or inspire us or, or force, not force us, but, but to help us to further integrate uh, and, and remove separation. I mean, I guess what I'm saying is, are, are they, is it, does the same thing apply to the termite type of scenario versus say the ET visitation scenario? Or we're actually just from our core, bringing in aspects of us that need to, that, that want to help us and, and move us the, a certain the, direction. The termite scenario was certainly fear. Okay. Um, to create chaos and throw okay. me off balance and, and shift my focus yeah. so that I, I am not tuned into where I need to. And, and it's like you down into the 3D and you yeah. have no choice yeah. but to do or else, you know, yeah. how, do you, how do you live? So it was explained to me by the dragons that this is deliberately um, like uh, being in being projected just to throw you off balance that's all yeah and that's that's actually a very this can all go on go ahead i'm sorry go ahead yeah no matter what what's going on in your reality right now as you see it be it a physical challenge be it a an illness be it you know financially drained be it you know, stuff like this, things falling apart, relationships falling apart. Um, it's basically just the fear. Of it's just fear that that yeah. is distracting you from not yeah. being there. And that, to be. yeah, and that fear comes from us, but it also, like you were talking about, seems like that if our fear frequency is also going to pick up as a transmitter and a magnet, just as our, uh, let's say, our enlightened or ascending frequency or galactic frequency or dragon frequency or angelic frequency is going to do the same thing. So kind of like we might look at it as humans, positive and negative, but what, what your explanations 
really telling me or confirming or validating is that it's coming, it's all coming from us. It's all coming from us. It's, it's an, it, you know, we have all these uh -huh. aspects it, out there. Yeah. It's testing us. It's testing us because <clears throat> all this time I was happily painting and, and doing what I was doing. Very happy. Um, I'm going to go on a trip very soon. So I was all excited and then it was all chaos. Yeah. So it was a test to see if I can maintain my frequency, if I can maintain where I am, because I need to carry that um, not only for myself, for the collective, for the planet. And I need to be moving forward. I cannot let anything uh, pull me back. Yeah. So these things are thrown at us for, I mean, it's like a huge challenge that comes up to test you. Are you really there? Yeah. If you say you are. See, and this this whole, uh, you know, there's, there's that theory or, you know, because I don't think anybody has the full answer here. You know, we all have pieces of the, of the, the puzzle, but uh, the theory of a simulation, you know, that we're, that we've, you know, plugged ourselves into this video game, we're erased our memory and we're on this, this experience. Uh, but when I start to consider this involvement, this intricate involvement with these different essences and species and that type of thing, it, it to me it takes on uh, it takes on some meaning. Like we're actually here with the purpose of expanding uh, the universal family, the universe's experience, however you want to put it, sources experience, but it, in a very highly intelligent way. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are. We, we first got to let go of our own stuff. That's what that's what we've been working on. Um, you know, clearing out our baggage, clearing out all that needs to be, um, you know, gotten rid of anything that's not serving us and, and embody the light um, so that we can together bring in the new, not just uh, a timeline, but yeah. it's going to be a brand new existence for everyone, for, for the entire planet. Yeah. So together we, we, we are helping in the ascension process by holding the light. That's all we've got to do. Yeah. Our purpose is to hold, is, is to be the vessel that holds the frequency that can um, help expand it further because every, it's like joining the dots. So every human yeah. being uh, holding the frequency is adding to the expansion. Yeah, and I love what and that's what I was shown because everything at after one point is going to be just the light. Yeah, there, will, there is going to be no form. I love what you said uh, that they need us as much as we need them, and I've always felt like this is a universal correction or universal alignment that somehow centered on our, on our experience going on here uh, because we're in such a dense realm or what has been a dense realm. It's very interesting. Um, so yeah, and now let me ask you, and I know, I think I've asked you before and we may have done it, but I, I do so many shows, I can't remember anything. Can you, can you connect to your dragon energy, your dragon lineage right now? And uh, like you do in a session? Yeah, uh, uh, I can. And what would you want me to do with it? Uh, just, I mean, if, I, I think what I would say is just to go into it like any uh, experience, you know, like when Morgan and I do it, it's just with open. Is there any information that you may feel that's important to share with us right now? And, uh, you know, obviously we're coming in all humility and grace, love and we're just here to expand too, but yeah, I mean, for the highest purpose and the highest intentions, whatever, whatever comes, you know. Okay, I'll try. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, so, um, the main message being uh, for now is um, they say that everything um, that you're experiencing right now 
is um, is bringing in the change. So um, the challenges may seem very extreme, but know deep down that these changes are necessary. These changes have to be made. And once we've made the shift, you've made the shift. Uh, we, we are very happy for you to cooperate and co-create with us exactly what we had intended to. Um, there's going to be a lot of changes coming in for this, in, in this next September, October. Uh, there will be major timeline shifts for people um, in the sense you will not be given the time to sit and think about it because it has been put in motion. Um, you will just be shifted into the new timelines irrespective of, of, of what is it that you want. So it's important that you do not attach yourself to anything. Um, trust. It's going to be like a major, major wave that is going to come in. Hmm. What you feel right now is surges of, of the same bigger wave that is going to come and just wash everything out and take hmm. you to the shore. And we will be transformed and trans migrated to a brand new reality. Mm. And this is not far, it's there. Many have seen it, many are seeing it. And the ones that have not seen it till now need to amp up their frequencies. For this is going to be the reality that we will be living in very soon, very soon. Mm. So, don't fall into the fear programs. Don't let anything bring you down. Know that it is being done um, only so that you cannot tune into the new world, into your new frequency. And know that every time you're pulled down and you, you, you bring your energy back up, you are adding and connecting. Stay connected, stay connected and focus to the new frequency to the new waves that are coming in because it is your focus that will help you ride the wave. Mm. So don't let anything shift you from your from your focus. Keep your eye on the goal. Um, your focus is what will help you ride the wave. And that's all for now. We will be coming through. Thank you. With many more messages and codes that need to be embodied by you. So keep an eye and, and watch out for it. Thank you. We will come directly. We will come through other people. We will come as messages. We will come as through paintings, drawings, whatever, whichever way you need it, it will be given to you. What you need will be presented to you. Make sure you are there to receive it. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So yeah, no, no attachment. Uh, that sounds like it's, it's uh, amping up and leveling up. Uh, so I guess uh, jumping in a car with little resources and not knowing where you're going to go is a pretty good place to be. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't have a chance, we don't have a chance to attach to anything. <laughs> But you've done it before, so it's not uh, going to be uh, uh, this time it's a little, new for you. This time it's a little bit different, but uh, <laughs> but no, that's uh, energetically. I mean, that's I'm joking. It's our it's, focus. They, they 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 that's what I was shown. It's like this huge wave, and it's the focus that will help us ride that wave and uh -huh. and get us on to the other Beautiful. side. Beautiful. There's going to be a lot of destruction. There's going to be a lot of people crossing over, uh, which I was shown a few months back to through the dragons that, you know, like this, this passage that was open and there were souls just 
passing through and the ones that can hold the frequency will stay and help the rest that have not made it as yet and there will be many who will um who have agreed to not be a part of this they will be gone mm. yeah i've heard that before so uh okay well that was that was uh that was a very powerful hour yeah very very uh informative and uh activating and uplifting yeah i really appreciate you uh coming in on the show again and sharing space with us and bringing in the well, dragon thank you. lineage yeah, yeah thank honor you, is mine thank so, you so much it's always nice to connect with you every couple of months and uh get an update uh yeah our friend who's also in the close to the dragons on when she says a uh, dragon style creation is tear down mode in tear down mode no no point fixing broken stuff <laughs> yeah. yeah no yeah. point fixing anything that's that's not meant to be fixed yeah yeah so, so just, just let it go yeah it just falls away yeah well, that seems to be a very that seems to be the to me anyway i don't know that the, to me the dragon energy when i've experienced this, one is extremely the love the 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 love is is like you know just like uh, uh, totally but that's that's yeah. what has kept me going through all of this past one month was chaotic that's yeah. the only thing that kept me going was there was there love or the in the love of the dragon energy yeah the love and 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 the constant physical i could actually feel the physical support just just okay. you know it's like some yeah. something keeping me there yeah. that you 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 cannot break down you you cannot yeah. you can do this you can do it yeah so and there, are, and there also seems to be a frequency of let's get this done let's not we're not playing around we're here to get you know let's clean out the closet kind of thing yeah no nonsense just get yeah. on with it do it and move forward so yeah. don't sit and procrastinate or look at things and say okay yeah. oh i'm emotionally attached and i i need yeah. this and no there is no need for any of that just yeah. give, we have no choice but to keep moving forward now beautiful so it's yeah. best to make ourselves you know get to that place that i cannot be holding on to anything i've just got to once again let go and it's going to be like a free falling once again we've done it before i've done it yeah. before yeah we have yeah once yeah. again even um, if we don't remember <laughs> we have so well we do i you do remember i mean this lifetime yes many yeah. times i've yeah. done that and you too so yeah once again we're being asked to you know stand there and say i'm here and i'm ready to do it yeah absolutely well thank you beloved sister appreciate you I look forward to the next time um thank you me too look forward to yeah I, and, catching and, uh, up with you with whatever comes next well keep doing what you're doing and thank you for doing it thank you for having the well thank you for being you and thank you for all the work you do and thank you for for giving me this opportunity to to come out and speak i've never done it before yeah. so perfect you take care thank you bye bye